Hey everybody, my name is Dr. Sheena Howard. I am an internationally known author and entrepreneur. And in this video, I'm going to teach you the system to get your young child published on Amazon. So the system that I created is called Creates. C-R-E-A-T-E-S. And we're gonna go through each letter of the acronym so that you can get your child published. So C stands for compose. So the very first step and the most important step is to get your child to actually come up with the story so that you have a book to write and create with your child. So the first thing I do is draw three boxes and I label them act one, act two, and act three. So this is gonna be the bare bones of your child's story. So we're gonna do the three main parts of the story before you actually draw the pictures for the story in the, in the book on the white pages, okay? So, what's the name of your story? The Wizard Who Couldn't Fit In. Okay, so in this first box, just draw the one or two characters that you think are gonna be in the book. So one is gonna be the lizard, and then if there are other characters that are gonna be in the all book. All the characters are lizards. All the characters are lizards? So can you draw the two or three lizards that are gonna be in the book? Children are natural storytellers. So when your child expresses interest in writing a book, Ask them a basic question, such as, well, what kind of story would you want to write? Who would the characters be? And once they give you this basic information, now you can start having them draw pictures in these three boxes. So once they draw the characters that they think they want in their story and the setting, in box one, then you move on to box two. And here you want to explain to your child that every story has a problem or a conflict. Come over here. Now you're in act two, conflict. and it's the conflict. That's so in your, in your story, what's the problem gonna be for the lizard? What is? It's a lizard, he can't fit in. Okay, so draw a picture that, ex that shows him not fitting in, okay? because that's the problem of our story. And again, you want to let them tell you what the problem or conflict in the story is. Let them be as creative as possible. In the third box, you want to get your child to draw a picture of what the conclusion is. So they've already established that there's some sort of problem, but how is the problem solved? So ask them, and this is great for you to have a conversation with your child and also have a conversation with them about the best ways to solve problems. The conclusion, we have to explain how the problem was solved. So the lizard is being laughed at. How do them. Both of the lizards are being laughed at. And so how do they feel when they're being laughed at? Sad. Sad. So how do, they fix it? how do we fix this problem? How do we make it better? They make all the other lizards laugh at the, post, at the other lizard. That's not nice. Okay, um. <laughs> we want to we wanna solve it in a way where maybe everybody's happy. All right, so now we're on to letter R, which is read. Now what you're gonna do is get some white pieces of paper, fold them in half, and staple them into a booklet. And I really love the part of this process of composing the story because now your child gets to draw pictures. And what child doesn't like to draw pictures? All right, so you're gonna start, draw the, like what you think you want the cover of the book to look like. And then on each page, draw your story. So remember now when we are drawing the full story now, you have to fill in some blanks. So at the beginning, we know that Draco and Basilis are in the forest. Mm -hmm. But now you have to draw some pages of them being made fun of and all of the sadness they're experiencing. And then you have to show how they teach everyone to make up. And then at the end, everybody has to be happy, right? So now this is your time to tell us, give us some more details about the story, okay? So you go ahead and start 
drawing the pictures in the book. However you want, babe. So after your child has drawn all of the pictures, what you want to have them do and what I have my child do is to read what's happening to me on each page. So each page now has some artwork and you just want to sit with them and say, hey, tell me what's happening on each of these pages and tell me the words you want to write. A standard children's book is 32 pages. And if you want to follow sort of a format for the storytelling narrative, you can use this guide. So the first eight pages is going to be establishing the characters and the storyline and the scene and setting. The next 16 pages is going to be you know, the character trying to solve a problem and failing, maybe failing over and over and over again. And then the final eight pages is going to be the main character succeeding and solving the problem and hopefully a happy ending since it's a kid's book. And so you kind of want to incorporate this storytelling structure before you get to the next step, which is E for edit. Since this book is going to go on Amazon and it's going to be widely available to millions of people, you want to make sure you get your book properly edited. So of course at this stage you want to read over the book, t type everything into a Word document. So what your child has written on the booklet, you now want to type it into a Word document. And if you're doing a 32 page book, you want to spread the story out for 32 pages using the formula we already discussed. Now, at this stage of typing the book out, you may have to add a little bit more detail to the story. You may find holes in the story and as the parent, you might have to add some things. Now, don't add too much and definitely don't stray far away from what your child has already said they want the story to be because I can promise you, you'll have a very upset child. So just add what is necessary to move the story along if you feel like parts are missing in this stage. And then you are going to read the story over, right? This is the first part of editing, proofreading, reading the story over on your own and make sure you read it to your child to make sure your child is happy with the way the story sounds and with any additions that you've made. Now, also in this step, you want to go hire an editor. Now, I like to keep things affordable for myself and for my audience. So I recommend going to Fiverr.com and finding a children's book editor. And I use a very good editor. I don't know if this editor will still be available at the time of you watching this video, but I will leave a link to all of the Fiverr gigs I use to make this process easier and more affordable for you. So the editor I use, I will link that up in this video but you definitely want to get it edited and then when the editor sends back the feedback and corrections accept all of the edits and now you have a nice professionally written edited book congratulations you're like more than halfway there so a stands for artwork because now you have a manuscript in a word document and this manuscript needs to turn into art that is colorful and engaging and will make the book fun for your child to read and for others to read as well. And so again, I recommend gigs on fiverr.com to get someone to do the artwork for all of the pages of your book. Now, when you're searching for an artist to do the artwork, you want to make sure that you communicate to them that you want them to do the artwork as well as the text, right? The words on each page of the book. There are some artists that only do artwork and they don't do the text, but you want to find one that does everything. You want to communicate to the artist that when they send the book back, it will be a finished book with all the art and all of the text. All right, really, really important when you get the artwork back from the artist, you need to read every page, review it thoroughly, make sure the artwork looks the way you want it, make sure there are no grammatical errors, make sure the story flows. At this point, 
you're probably going to have a lot of feedback from the artist and that's okay you want that because sometimes after the artist does the artwork they're hard to find a week later or a year later when you realize you might need edits so make sure it is exactly how you want it and don't be afraid to give the artist feedback you want to request that the artist gives you the source file now we're on to the letter T in the process, which stands for transfer. Because now you're gonna take the final book that you have and upload it to Amazon. So you wanna go to kdp.amazon.com. KDP is where self-published authors upload their books to publish them so that they can be available on Amazon. So the prompts are going to ask you a lot of questions. Do you want an ebook? Do you want a hardcover book, a paperback book? This is going to be up to you, but here's some advice. It's not a good idea to have an ebook as a kid's book because most parents that read books to their children, they want physical copies. Now, you're going to get to a place in KDP where it's going to ask you to upload the manuscript and the artwork and the book cover. So this is where you're going to go back to Fiverr.com and find a professional that can properly format your book to upload it to KDP. All right, so now your book is inside KDP. You've selected all the prompts you want. And before you hit publish and make it available to the world, you want to do some quality checks. This is where we get to the next step of the process, which is letter E, evaluate. So don't hit publish yet. You want to select author copies so that you can get the book mailed to you. And this is going to be about three or four bucks, but you will get a physical not for sale copy of the book so that you can ensure that it looks the way it is supposed to look. Please don't skip this step and go right to publish because you want to see what the book looks like in your hand. There could be multiple minor errors that you want to correct. I've gotten to this part tons of times just to read the book and catch another grammatical error or maybe something is not formatted properly. If it looks great, go ahead back into KDP and set your publication date and hit publish your book. If you need things adjusted or edited, this might require you going back to the artist or asking the person that uploaded the manuscript to uh, shift some things. It depends on what errors you are seeing in the book. And now you're ready for the last step in the process, which is letter S, sell. So just because you upload your book to Amazon successfully, it doesn't mean that people are going to buy your book. Now, there's lots of different marketing strategies that you can use, but I suggest starting with friends, family, local businesses that you frequent. And this is a great time to teach your child about ownership. They now own something. And every time they sell their book to someone, they get money from that sale. One cool thing that I want to add is that you can actually create an Amazon author profile for your child and this is totally okay with Amazon. My son has his author profile and you can link his author profile to this book and that's super cool if you're into that because they'll have their picture up there and the book will be attributed to them. So I like to write on the book that it was created by my son so that he gets the credit because after all your child did come up with the story and you assisted them. One more thing, in the selling process, I reached out to my local grocery store and they actually ended up distributing my son's book in the local grocery store. And so I, my son actually got distribution at tons of grocery stores across the city of Philadelphia. So don't be shy to let people know about your child's book. And that is the Creates process. Please let me know in the comments if you followed this process and had some success, please link us to your child's book. I would love to see the results from all of the people that are going to benefit from getting their child published by watching this video. Let me know. I want to celebrate you and your child's success.